You guys like my nails? It's the girliest thing I do. Sometimes I wish that I could be a regular ass woman. Sometimes I wish that I was different. But the person that I am is so politically incorrect that people don't know what to do. So they just assume that I'm a lot of things that they want me to be. Not what I tell them I am. I'm trying to provide them an education. Because I probably know more about mental illness than every person alive right now. And that's all because I wanted to understand myself. That's all because I wanted to be better than I was back when I started. I really pity those that want to sit in their shit and complain about the stench. I really pity those that point the finger all because they can't handle the truth about themselves. I really pity those. They take their insecurity and ball it up and turn it into something else. Something that they can more easily digest So they don't have to confess That they feel like shit all the time Because they don't know who they are And America has done such a fine job At capitalizing on insecurity Yeah, America has done such a fine job Capitalizing on Everybody's lack of decency, yeah. And it's always been this way. It's just that the culture wasn't this bad before. Now it's impossible to ignore. But people don't know what else to do than complain. They always complain. Because when you complain, you really don't have to do anything else. I'm tired of folding it. I kind of want to change it too. Let's see. Everyone that 
that you know is acting, but they don't know. I say this, and then I feel that. I do this, and then I do that. Everyone's so easy to control. Everybody's just on the same track. I guess, I mean, that's true of everybody. I mean, I am too. I am too. I mean, yeah, this, the keyboard that you see, you know, I play it a lot in the car, random places. Um, you know, I'm repeating that cycle within myself, but it's like, I'm still trying to change. Like, I'm still like, like looking for new ways to do things. Like, rather than just like stick with one thing all because it works. You know? It's like, that's just boring to me. It's so boring to me. And I feel like the reason why people haven't committed suicide is because they don't know how terrible they really are. You know, they have no idea how boring they are. They have no idea just how lame they really are. You know? If they have more self-awareness, like, it would just be me and like maybe like 300 other people like <laughs> because people that legit like care about their well-being are not going to be satisfied just staying in one place doing one thing and um well you sound like a total hypocrite though because like you're still here you're still here doing the same shit working steak and shake and Yes, but I'm growing. I'm evolving in my mind. That's the difference. So many people, they think that they have to do all these other things in order to achieve that, but they don't. Like, you can accomplish so much just by thinking. That's what people don't understand. But appearance-wise, yes, you're right, sweetheart. 
You're absolutely right. <laughs> I have not budged one fucking inch. <laughs> Cheers to that. At least we're stubborn for the right reason, okay? You see, I don't, uh, I don't give in. Most people give in. We don't give in. You see? That's the sound of not giving in. And people are right to be jealous of that. And it's not about flip phone life. That's what they don't understand. It's not about flip phone life. It's about not doing things that you disagree with. Period. Not doing things that you think are immoral and unethical and nonsensical. Like, if I don't agree with something, I'm not going to fucking do it. And I'm not going to, like, make up excuse after excuse as to why I should just get over that. You know? Like, I think that that's why I'm better than people that just said, fuck it. I'm just, I'm just going to do it, you know? Everybody else is doing it, so I don't have a choice. You always have a choice, you stupid-ass motherfucker. You always have a choice. You've chosen wrong. And now you want to rationalize making the wrong decision. Piece of shit. I can be a cunt, damn it. I can be a cunt. Because I just have to deal with that constant, like, opposition to, to the way that I live my life. And I'm not going up to people, you know, throwing water on their phones like I should, you know? I'm not destroying machines as much as I want to do that. My, my internalized Luddite self, okay? I'm not doing that. I'm not lecturing people. I'm not yelling at them, telling them that their way of life is wrong. Like, all these motherfuckers, that's all they do is just go online and bitch about how wrong they think these these people are. Like, this is fucked up. Hashtag. Just kill yourself. Just fucking kill yourself, you useless hackneyed trash ball. I don't care. <laughs> oh, I got, I got kids. Yeah, I'm sure you're being such a great parent. I'm sure you're really raising your children. These motherfuckers are on their phones more than they're on anything else. Okay? So I have a hard time believing that they're doing any kind of parenting whatsoever. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're just the most amazing parent. They're like the best cyborg parent that one cyborg child could hope to have. All right? Like all these kids are going to burn in hell. You know that, right? All these kids, they're like children of the devil. When you put a phone in a child's hand, don't be surprised that they want to change their fucking gender, dude. Like, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Just this level of total obliviousness to like how dangerous... All this stuff truly is, especially with children. And then people want to lecture me for my unconventional lifestyle. I'll be like, oh, well, you know, you need to do this, this, and that. You need to be blah, 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 blah. You, need, you need to have the same thing that everybody else has and nobody fucking appreciates. That's why I don't recommend that, like, people have kids. Most of the people that have kids are not parents. Most of the people that have kids don't raise them, and they don't even appreciate the opportunity that they have. They don't appreciate the glorious gift of being able to make life and raise a child and all that. You know, I could see the beauty of that as an outsider. I, I think that's such an amazing thing. And it makes me sick to my stomach that so many people take that shit for granted. And it's like they take for granted just the ability that they have to, like, walk around and breathe and, like, experience life. You know, like, they just piss on that. That's all they do is piss on everything that God has given them. And then they're just totally hooked on this pretend universe. It's a psychop, dude. Like, this whole thing's a simulation. This whole thing's, like... The, uh, just a massive universal psychological operation. The world wide web. Hello? <sighs> it's a web. It's a 
a web that catches things, okay? And everybody that's on it is, is prey in some form or fashion. And you don't have to be on OnlyFans in order to be that prey. But here I am doing the thing that I'm complaining about. So I'm ranting when I could be in church, singing to the Lord with my church family, but I'm out here complaining about everything. I'm sorry, Vortex. I just felt the need to shoot this video because well, is talking an art form is bitching an art form? Is like ranting an art form? What if it isn't? We just lie to ourselves and say that because <laughs> we want to believe that something meaningful is happening. <laughs> but I think it's therapeutic for other people though. It's therapeutic for other people to, to hear this and listen to it and know that they're not alone in the way that they see the world. Because I don't think that you have to be uh, flip phone savvy in order to see how destructive the smartphone technology has been on our society. But um, I'll, I'll say that when you have that mechanism on you, um, It's going to be extremely difficult to not be sucked into that. And you have to have, like, boatloads of self-awareness in order to uh, refrain from that suckage, as I have said. So, if you have the internet at your fingertips, literally, you have that in your pocket all the time, like, why wouldn't you, you know constantly be using it as a distraction or as you know this thing that you pretend connects you to the world and it connects you to um, other people that aren't people anymore because they're all addicted to their phones so they're robots everybody's a robot so